Hi, I'm Aaron, and these are my dogs, Rocky and Rambo. We founded Dog Vacay to connect amazing and trusted dog hosts like yourself with more customers. My wife and I have boarded hundreds of dogs in our own home and know how rewarding it can be. So I'd like to walk you through a few tips and tricks to make for a more positive experience. The three areas we'll cover are the screening process, the first meeting, and common behavioral issues. Screening your dog boarding clients is a cinch on dogvacay.com, but it's important to be aware of your limitations. Do you have a small apartment? Then maybe a Great Dane is not a great idea. Do you have an expensive carpet? Mm, think twice about territorial male dogs that like to mark. Do you have noise-sensitive neighbors? <coughs> Try to avoid dogs who bark a lot. Whatever your circumstances, be honest with yourself about what you can handle, because it'll make for a better experience for you in the long run. Be sure to evaluate the guest dog's profile on dogvacay.com and include your limitations and house rules on your profile. Some hosts prefer to have a meet and greet before committing to a host dog. Whether it's a trial meeting or the owner dropping off the dog, the same principles apply. For the first meeting, it's highly recommended to go for a walk with the whole pack. This gives everyone an opportunity to bond and begin to trust one another. Treats are also a great way to create positive associations around you and this new experience. Once you enter the house, it's a good idea to keep both resident dogs and guest dogs on leash. Introduce the guest puppy to the new environment while he's still on a leash so he knows that you're in control. This is a great opportunity to correct any marking or instinct to jump on furniture. After a few minutes, you can let the dogs off the leash and observe their behavior. If the dog is being dropped off, do not let the dog parent make a big deal about saying goodbye. It's far better to distract the dog with treats or play while the owner quietly leaves. Dogs are always establishing their hierarchy in the pack. A little rough play is usually fine, but if a dog becomes aggressive by baring his teeth, biting, or excessively barking, you should immediately separate the dogs and establish your authority with a calm and assertive voice. Down. Good. If the behavior continues, give the dogs a separated timeout. When you reintroduce them, keep a close eye and go for a walk or play a game of fetch. Mealtime can get interesting, especially with different types of food and different dog personalities. It's good practice to separate dogs for feeding time unless they're used to eating together. Many dogs are too shy to eat on their first day, but will begin eating again the next day or after a nice long walk. Sleeping arrangements are of particular concern for your pets and visitors. This is a time when resident dogs may become territorial, so it's a good habit to establish designated areas for each dog. Some dogs just love to run out of open doors, especially in new environments. Sit. Prevent this by keeping the dogs at a distance whenever you enter and leave the home. A few more tips and tricks. Some trainers use a spray bottle filled with water to stop excessive barking. Teach your guest dogs how to walk with you by correcting pulling. Dogs fight about food, bones, beds, toys, and territory. Unless it's meant to be community property, only use unscented toys and correct any aggressive behavior. Dogs need exercise and stimulation. Stick to a schedule with a morning and afternoon walk or run. Midday and nighttime short walks are also a good idea. Health and medical issues need to be taken seriously. Keep track of medicine dosages and special instructions. Not all dogs are good with kids. Be extremely cautious when allowing dogs near children and immediately remove the dog if you hear any growling. Becoming a trusted host requires a commitment to creating a safe and fun environment for your guests. The guidelines in this video are just guidelines. We know that every dog, every environment, and every host are different, so use your judgment. You can always refer back to this video, check out our blog, or call the team anytime. We're happy to help. Thanks for joining Dog Vacay. We're thrilled to feature you on our site, and we're working day and night to make dog boarding awesome. Happy hosting. Yay! Good dogs! High five, Rocky! DogVacay.com